I would say the only time that hip hop would probably, uh, the power of it would probably slide is, you know, maybe when the whole world is wealthy and nobody has any problems. <laughs> but that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's called what is it called? Utopia Falls. <laughs> <laughs> um, Utopia Falls is like uh, you know I, I call it my love letter to hip hop, uh, to the hip hop culture. Um, it's uh, it's uh, the first ever science fiction hip hop series. I'm the archive. Choose your subject. What's hip hop? Um, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to see what um, the culture I grew up with, with people who look like me, um, as leaders, as heroes in their own story in the future, um, and uh, you know, show uh, a story that's about culture being rediscovered and what the power of that is. Shout out to Dream Warriors. Shout out to Dream Warriors, Canadian talent. Nice, nice. Mm. That's important to you. Yeah. And Canadian hip hop, you know, uh, Maestro Fresh West and, and uh, Mishi Me and, you know, the, the, the pioneers and, and Dream Warriors were in there. And I just remember seeing their videos early on um, on uh, Much Music and being like, who are these guys like? They just came with a totally different style. I feel like as a black artist, you have to be a dream warrior. You know, you gotta fight for what you see and what you hope um, you can inspire other people to be um, because there's not a lot of help for us out there. Um, in fact, there's a lot of doors that get closed on you because of the things that you wanna do. Um, so you gotta be a warrior to fight for your own dreams. You know? It's always a fight to sort of create something that people haven't seen before, um, just for that reason. I mean, a lot of times, um, you know, marketplaces, uh, film and television and, and music and all of this, they really like to lean on what they have seen before and they try to replicate that same success. So when you come with a very original idea, uh, especially one also that is not of the mainstream culture, you know, that's always a big sell as well. It's a tough sell. I'll, I'll say this for, for Utopia, like it was, it's a show that really could only, I think have been made in the past five years um, with this, you know, with this, you know, this grand expansion of, um, of streaming services. Um, it, it was a godsend for, for an idea like this. If we had went to a, a standard normal network um, with this idea, it just would have been turned down right away, flat. It, it definitely comes um, from my mother, uh, first and foremost, you know. I grew up with a powerful black woman as, 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 um, as my mom, so I want to reflect that in my work, um, you know, and, and to show that, like, honestly, I think black women are the most powerful women in the world because everything that they deal with, um, you know, it's, 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 it's sort of, uh, unfortunate, but they they end up, you know, being um, often overlooked in, in nearly every aspect of life, but they still surround you with love, sometimes tough love, but uh, they're preparing you for the world. So yeah, it's a, you know, it showed up, uh, you know, having Gaia, the founder of uh, New Babel, which is the city in Utopia Falls. And yes, it's a black woman, you know, um, She's the, the founder of the city. She's the one that led them out of the darkness. Hip hop is at its is probably at its um, peak power right now in the world. It is truly an art form that is about giving voice to the voiceless. I would say the only time that hip hop would probably uh, the power of it would probably slide is you know maybe when the whole world is wealthy and nobody has any problems. <laughs> But that ain't gonna happen. This is not something that I wanted to do. I'm just letting you guys know. All right, my top three, in no particular order, MCs. Oh, man. Um, top three. 
How about this? My top three influential artists. How about that? Had an influence on me. Um, uh, in no particular order, Jay-Z, um, Common, <sighs> might be Lauren Hill. The most important thing for me is that it inspires and, and you know, hopefully inspires the next generation of writers, the next generation of directors, the next generation of actors to see themselves in places that we haven't really been able to see ourselves um, and know that it's possible to do this. So, you know, um, I, I'm hoping that somebody watches this and is like, this ain't hip hop enough. We need to make, you know, we to, I need to make the street version of this great. Like, and I want to see that. Um, so, you know, get out there and write, create, produce. Like, truthfully, we're in a time where people will actually listen to that. And if they won't listen, I'm going to listen. So. Time is the greatest thief because it's forever stealing the past. This was a legacy of our founder, Gaia. The youth of New Babel train so that we can honor our founders through performance in the city's competition. Must be excited. Almost definitely. What if my name isn't called? You're a beautiful dancer. What's that? I found one of those in my room, too. You are invited to a celebration beyond the city limits. Tell no one. What is that? I'm the Archive. Choose your subject. What's hip hop? Whoa. How's he moving that so fast? I have no idea. There is so much incredible music here. It's not just music, it's books and art and who knows what else. Why would they keep something like this from us? What is the point of this act of defiance? I can't pretend like I never found this. They don't want you to know the truth. But it's too late for them to stop us. For the first time, there's a connection between art and what my life is actually like. But we built a community to protect you. The time has come to wake up the people and give them their freedom. This is a revolution we're talking about. 